friends and families. I'm back with another video. We're gonna be talking about the largest continent out of the seven. It's Asia. In the background, there's beautiful Asian music. It says it's a mixture of Chinese, Japanese, Indian, and Tibetan music. It's very calming, very relaxing. As always, I've learned a ton of information while doing my research on the Asian of the Asia continent. You guys ready to get into it? All right, let's get started. All right, Asia is Earth's largest and most populous continent, located primarily in the eastern and northern hemisphere. When I read this information that I'm gonna tell you next, I was mind blown. Asia is the largest continent. The continent has 48 countries within its border that are recognized by the United Nations. There are five additional dependent or unrecognized territories that are within the Asia continent as well. 4.5 billion people live in the 48 countries in the continent of Asia. 4.5 billion. That's roughly 60% of the world's population lives in Asia. Mind blown, mind blown. Asia is bounded on the east side of the Pacific on the south of the Indian and on the north of the Arctic. 4.5 billion people live in Asia. And there's 48 countries. Here are flags of each of the 49 continents, 49 countries that are on the continent of Asia. We have China, Indonesia, Kuwait, Japan, Oman, Sri Lanka, South Korea, Vietnam, Turkey, Thailand. Those are just a few of the 48 countries on the Asia continent. You guys ready for a picture of Asia? Russia, China, Mongolia, India, beautiful beautiful continent huge continent 48 countries 4.5 billion people i'm mind blown by this it's a lot of people so 2300 languages are recognized on the continent of asia for example china speaks mandarin india speaks hindi malaysia speaks Malay, Indonesia speaks Indonesian, Singapore, English, Singapore, English, wow. Um, Thailand speaks Thai, Vietnam speaks Viennese. Yeah, those are just a few of the 2,300 languages recognized on the continent of the 48 countries. Baikal Lake is the largest lake in the world. It's an ancient massive lake in the mountainous Russian region of Siberia, north of the Mongolian border. It's considered the deepest lake in the world. It is circled by a network of hiking, hiking paths. Beautiful lake, beautiful scenery, beautiful sky. Very nice. Indonesia is located on the boundary of the South Pacific an area known as the Ring of Fire, with 127 of the country's volcanoes currently active, it's easy to see how it got its names. Indonesia's most active volcano is Mount Mariapi. It's on the island of Java. It typically erupts every two or three years with larger eruptions every decade or so. There's a picture of the volcano. Southeast Asia is home to the world's largest flower. It's called the Rafflesia, and it's found growing on the forest floors of Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. It produces huge flowers. They're up to a meter across. 
Their distinctive shape and size have earned them an Im Im imbalic status, and the ruffle sea has been adopted as Indonesia's official state flower. I printed an 8x10 of this flower to show you guys. I am in awe. In awe. Look at how big this flower is. Wow. Look at the kids standing next to it. It's bigger than the baby. Wow. Ready for this? The world's smallest mammal. In Western Thailand, it's home to the kitty hog nose bat also known as the bumblebee bat, which is regarded by some of the world's smallest mammals, sparking hopes for more colonies outside of the bat's native Thailand. Look at this little face. The bumblebee bat. So... On the Asian continent, you can see wild elephants, tigers, snow leopards, orangutan, and many more animals. I printed out two of the many we have the elephant and the sea no snow leopard look at those beautiful blue eyes long trunk religion there are more than five five million buddhists in asia buddhism has its strong hold on asia particularly south and east south and east asia more than 5 million people recognize themselves as Buddhists. And, and the Thai population, for example, consists of 95% Buddhists. But it's not the largest belief system because there are more Hindus and Muslims on the Asian continent. Rice is a staple food of the continent. And most of the, pop, the produced rice is eaten there as well. Asian Asians eat up to 90% of the total world population of rice. In many Asian countries, you can eat rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a lot of rice. You gotta love rice. Next information, had to print an eight by 10 of this so you guys can see, amazing. The tallest building in the world can be found in Asia. While some people think that the Middle East is a separate continent, it belongs to the Asian continent. In Dubai, you can find Bajurk Khalifa. It's the world's tallest building in the world. You guys ready for this? Amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, huge, world's tallest building in the world. Next, but certainly not, whew. Mount Everest, Mount Everest, wow. It's the Earth's highest mountain above sea level located in the Himalayas on the China and Nepal border. It is 29,000 feet in height. Another eight by 10, I'm in awe. The Gobi Desert is a large desert or brushland in Asia. It covers part of the northern and northern eastern China and south of Mongolia. The Gobi Desert is not only famous for dinosaur species recovery, but also known for its rich natural resources. The Gobi Desert is rich in copper, gold, and coal deposits. Gobi Desert. Look at all that sand. Last but not least, the Yang Yangtze is the longest river in Asia. It's the third longest river in the world and the longest in the world to flow entirely through one country. Wow, 4,000 miles long. Amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I've learned so much amazing information about the continent of Asia and its 48 countries. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Let's close with some more music. I hope you're all doing well and you're happy and healthy and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Bye!